Hello, today I'll be showing you how to model almost any entity in Minecraft. For example, in this video I'll be doing this rabbit to look like a frog instead. So you can start off by opening Block Bench, which is the modeling program which I showcased last video. If you don't have it, I'll link the download in the description. Let's start off by adding the plugin CEM Template Loader that I made, which will be under available just around here, but I already have it. So you can select it and this list of entities here, this is every single one you can do basically. Some of them are currently broken in the current version of Optifine, but 99% of them work. So let's start off by finding the rabbit which is here. There we go, that's the rabbit model. So first off, we don't need the ears. If we delete the folder, the ears will still appear in game because it just that's how it works. So delete the ears, the, the cubes, not the actual folder. So then there we go. You also don't want the nose because it's a frog. So then you want eyes on the frog. So you control D to duplicate the bone. And then you can adjust it with this resize tool up here to drag the size like that. So right now I'm making the eyes. So let's do a four by four, no two by two cube like that, right about there for the eye and then the one on the other side you can duplicate it again so this is all going on the head and then if we the head's a bit too big i think for a frog so shrink it up by one and then to do the mouth bit we can duplicate it down again this time however if you hold shift and shrink it no it doesn't work on this one if you hold shift and move it sideways you'll see it's moving in smaller chunks that's actually quarters if you hold control and do it, it does it in tenths. So we're going to use that to move it halfway across and halfway back. And now if we shrink it one this way and up, we'll see that now it looks like the little like, bottom mouth part of the frog. And I think those eyes are too far forward. Let's move those back. All right, there you go. That's the head of the frog. Now to do the feet. The, let's just do the back feet. So. For this one, let's do some rotations on it to give them like the three toes that they normally have. Rotations are a bit hard. If you if you rotate tool up here, if you rotate it, you see it's like all the way over here, up here instead. So if you rotate it like that, it goes like really crazy. So don't mess with this rotation, which is on this folder here. Instead, click on the folder and make a new group. So you see there's a new folder here now. So now you can duplicate that one and then put that one in there. Click this button, it will center the pivot point at this cube. Rotate, and now it will rotate, if I can select it correctly, it will rotate around there as we want. So now we can do this twice to get the two individual like toe bits of the frog. So there's one. We can actually, to save time, no we can't, never mind. So duplicate that entire thing again and then we can rotate that the other side to get the other toe. I don't know, are they toes? I don't know. So there you go, that's one of them. And now the other side is just the exact same thing. Duplicate, no not, no. Select the bone and duplicate. Be careful not to duplicate the entire bone because then it won't load in game at all. So you have that, put that in a folder and then rotate it. Now first click the center pivot button, then you rotate it. So is that the same? Yep, and then you can shrink it down so it's not extremely long. And then you can duplicate the folder this time. So it's, if it's an extra folder inside the main folder, you see they both collapse into there, it's completely fine. So now just turn that and there we go. That is our frog model complete. Okay, now we have import texture or create texture. Now we want to import the texture of the actual rabbit because that's got the right resolution and everything. So let's find the default one of that, which should be in here somewhere. Just search it, rabbit. There we go, rabbit. And then just brown. There you go, now you have your rabbit. You can notice that these are up here, but that's, these look really broken because they're not like, aligned properly with anything. So we'll just put those over here for now. Right, we're going to paint mode up here. 
and we're going to paint bucket mode on cube fill. This will fill in the entire cube in one go rather than individual faces. So we'll do green and about frog color which is about there. That'll do. And then you just select all the, the cubes. The normal cubes. You don't want to do the new ones yet. Just the old ones. So now you select the older ones, like this one, no, the new ones, like this one here, and we need to reposition them on here to somewhere that isn't currently texture. So we'll put that one down there. We can put this eye up here. This eye can go below that eye, which is... Are they overlapping? Yeah, they are they? I can't tell. And then let's just paint that in. On fill, cube, there, there. See, they're not overlapping. This one here. And then back to this, select the, the cube and then reposition it. So there's an empty spot there. And then the other side can actually go below that. That is definitely not below that. Right, there we go. Now you can see. Now that's below that. So then you can fill in that one and change it back to, there you go. And if you want both feet to be exactly the same, you can move this one onto the same texture so it uses the same bit. So then you only have to texture one side or texture the other side. So there we go, there's our very green looking frog. Let's add a slight bit of detail by going paint, paint brush, just like yellow for the eyes, why not? And then let's just paint it on, it's quite easy to use. Just drag around and just paint it on. So then these are both eyes done. Add a bit more detail by doing that. There you go, that's the eyes. And now the feet, let's just do orange feet because some frogs have that. And there we go, that's all the feet done. So now our frog is mostly complete, but we I just realized we have a tail the frog, frogs don't have tails like that, they have like tiny things. They don't really have a tail at all actually. But anyway, there you go, that's our frog. That tail texture is actually pointless, so you can go paint, eraser, and just remove it by just dragging up here. Also you can remove the ears because that's unneeded. And the bottom bit of the head, which we got rid of earlier and the nose is unneeded as well. There we go, that's our frog complete. Now to save it, so save the texture by right clicking and save as, and then locate your folder. So this is my pack here, I just named it zero, so it appears at the top of the list. You want assets, Minecraft, Optifine, CEM, and just leave it as this name it is in here. So if it says brown here, name it brown. If it says frog, name it frog. And then save as a PNG. And then for the, to, exp to save the model, because we just saved the texture, file, export, opt to find JEM. And then that will go in the same assets, Minecraft, opt to find CEM and model.gem. This is where it gets confusing because you can't name it whatever you want. It has to be a certain name. If you go on Google and you search for Optifine CEM, and then the first link here, this will give you a full list of every single mob. And as you can see, here are the names. You have armor underscore stand. Some awkward ones like the dragon are just literally dragon. You have Pufferfish Big, so we're looking for Rabbit, which should just be Rabbit, yeah. So just Rabbit, that's all you need to name it. And then you can save. And now we can test it in game by applying the resource pack. And now we should have... Frog. There is our frog. We can improve the texture slightly by 
lightening the bit under him. Just like a lighter bit, that bit there. Because it, it looks a bit weird at the moment. So you can save that again. And then simply F3 and T at the same time to refresh the resource pack. And there you go. It's that easy. Now another way to edit the texture is to open the texture in a program like Photoshop or something. So let's try that now. So here's our texture. A simple way, but not a very professional way, is to just go like, select everything, and then you can go filter, noise, add noise, and there you go. So yeah, that looks, that looks okay. Let's just put it at eight though, it's a bit too much. And then control S to save. And that should, there you go, more detail. Refresh it in game again. And we have a more detailed frog. There is another way of doing the texture, and that is to do it in the default location of the texture instead of in the CEM folder. Now you do that by let's just make the new the folder where it should be. So normally it's in textures and then it's in entity and then it's in rabbit and let's put it in there so there's our frog there brown when it's in here it has to be named what the normal mob is so like brown for the brown rabbit and then let's go back to the model at the moment if you try it it's expecting there to be a texture in that CEM folder. So you just get a missing texture on your model like that. You can easily fix that by in the model, you can just right click and just delete the texture there and save it. And that would fix it. Or if you don't want to do that, you can open it's in notepad or something. And this first line here, texture, just delete that. You don't need that. Now, when it loads in. If that is a brown rabbit I have spawned, I don't actually know which one it is. There you go, it's working that way as well. This method is more useful because it allows you to do random textures. I hope this video was helpful. Um, yeah, make things. Goodbye.